everyone, we are back with another renovation project. This time we are building an office in our garden as the final piece to the puzzle of our year long house renovation project. Throughout this series I'll be sharing the whole process from start to finish of undergoing a building project like this. Enjoy! Today is a good day, the sun is shining, we are so close, this is the final week now, everything is getting done, decorators are just sanding that second coat, here they go. So the decorators work is coming along nicely, they've been priming and filling and sanding all these areas and they've done this a few times to get that beautiful finish and next week they'll come back to hang our switch plates back on and rehang the doors they took off to paint. Really really love the finish that they've done in here, it's just so gorgeous. I also said that it was important to really, really make sure that there was absolutely no flaws. So like with a normal sand, not the machine that they used, you would never pick up all these little marks. So they've smoothed them all down. And because it's eggshell, it's got a slight sheen on it. It's really important that um, there's absolutely no bumps or lumps on the walls because the sheen will pick up on it. So yeah, ultra smooth, ultra perfect. <laughs> We have bifolds. We are watertight. I cannot wait to peel off all of this. The last bit of exterior here, they're gonna do today. So the floors are done, they're looking absolutely beautiful. And then we've got the panel wall that's all finished and the skirtings have been put on. So now it's time to go and buy some furniture. We went into Kingston to check out a few stores. We went into West Elm and also John Lewis uh, to try out some office furniture. So basically this is just a load of footage of Freddie sitting on different office chairs, picking the comfiest one for his office. And after a day shopping and before buying, we actually went back home and re-measured the office just to make sure that everything was gonna fit. And then we ordered it all and it's gonna be arriving soon. Because, like I mentioned before, I'm supplying a couple of my own things, I've had to order it. And it is all here and it's all needed for tomorrow. But like, I feel like I've come so far being organized and knowing what I need to order when I need to order it because it was so stressful in the build and I feel like I was always like chasing my tail. Whereas I feel like I'm totally with it this time round. Got it all under control and it just feels really good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what I've ordered. I picked the paint that we're going with. It's one for Lick White 04. I've gone for it in eggshell because this is what we've got in our bathroom and I love the finish and I love the color. Even though we have no plans to paint anytime soon in the house, the hallway is matte Valspar and it's just really, really scuffed. And even though it's wipeable, it's still scuffed. Um, so I would like a more durable paint, which is eggshell. And like if it's not too sheeny, then we might consider doing eggshell in the hallway later on. I've got Freddie a lamp base. This is from H&M. I got it in the sale. I'll link it below if it's still there. 30 quid down from 60. And then I'm gonna get the Firm Living linen lampshade like this but in the curry shade. I thought that would look quite retro in 70s because we are kind of going a bit of a mid-century style in this room. I cannot wait to show you the switches. Oh my gosh, these are from Corsten. So we've gone for the antique brass in the main room. We've gone for USB-C sockets by the desk. I think that's so handy, it frees up plug sockets for you to plug in like computer and printer, but you can still charge your phone. This gold color is gonna develop a beautiful patina over time. It takes a few months, but that will wear beautifully. Then for the shed area, we've gone for the bronze, which is um, this darker color, which I love. This is a skinnier switch, so simple. For the shed, it's just a flick switch as well. We don't need a dimmer. This is the light for the shed. It's like quite industrial. It's two lights, but it's on one fitting. So we've only got one electric point at the, in the ceiling. These are the outdoor lights. I went for these. I'd actually originally ordered brass and then I returned them because I really think that um, this, like, it's kind of quite a muted chrome. It's like brushed stainless steel. Will look beautiful against the wood on the outside. So these are gonna go either side of the bifolds. Aren't they gorgeous? They were 25 pounds each from B&Q, which I thought was a really good price. There's a close up of the brass 
and the bronze and these are just so beautiful look how thin they are you do need deeper back boxes if you are putting in these thin plates i spoke to the electrician and he said that they always put in the deeper back boxes anyway but not all of them do so you have to double check that if you are buying these thin oh, no plates. i'm just looking at this um skinny switch that i ordered and i actually forgot to specify to the electrician that i wanted a skinny switch not the standard size switch and oh no he has he's done regular obviously because no one said anything and it's skinny so that's not going to work and they've already cut out the osb i'm gonna have to order the regular size one because that's done and i didn't say anything this is a good lesson always 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 specify everything to your builder no matter how small a detail and even if you repeat yourself a million times double check mention everything um i missed a trick there but it's all right. Um, I'll just order the, the other one. I, I mean, I don't mind the normal size one. I just thought that was so cute and dinky. You live, you learn. Always specify everything. I wanted to share my inspiration boards here. I love these two images because I love that there's mid-century look to them, but also there's a little bit of antique in there with that vintage rug on the left and the more antique looking frames. Just adds a little bit more interest. I think that this style of interiors is called Nostalgia. If you click on the hashtag, there are lots of different images like this blending different eras of style and bringing it into the modern day which is what I absolutely love because I think it's so so timeless so this is the mood board that we created as the final look for the office I am going to share the other option as well but this is the final look that we're going for as you can see I've put in my lamp and lampshade that I got the sockets the paint uh, we have ordered the billy bookcases from Ikea and the rug that we're gonna be ordering. Freddie decided he did definitely wanna go with the West Elm mid-century Cooper chair, which is here. So that features in both mood boards, and then it was kind of styling a desk and shelving around that. So I personally, this is definitely my favorite look as well. However, this was the other one. A little bit more of the style of our main house. It's kind of more like Studio McGee vibes, and I really like this look, however, I think that for an office, this look is definitely more suited. I would have been happy with either look, but ultimately we went with this one. And let's put it into practice. <laughs> it's in. It's nice back to it because the back is gonna be the thing that's visible as you walk in. Thank you. 